If you're having trouble with a particular application on the Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge, then you might want to consider clearing the app cache or the app data. This can help for games, productivity applications, and even if you're having issues with Bluetooth, maybe you can't connect your headset to the Galaxy S7, there's actually an application, a system app, that you can clear the app cache and the app data that can possibly resolve that issue. So to do this, we need to launch the settings app. Then you want to scroll down and tap on the applications option. Then up at the very top, at least for my version, I have the application manager. You want to tap that. Now this is going to show you all of the basic applications that you have installed. So say I'm having trouble with the calculator app. Maybe, maybe it doesn't launch. Maybe it force closes. Maybe it has performance issues. Whatever kind of issues you're having, just locate the app and tap on it. And you want to tap on the storage option. And now you see we have two buttons. We have a clear cache button and then a clear data button. I generally recommend to only clear the cache at first. So you're going to clear cache. And then as a test, you want to minimize this, go back to your app drawer, and launch the application. In this case, it would be the calculator app. If that doesn't resolve the problem, though, you'll want to go back in here, go back to the application, and then to the storage option, and then you want to clear the cache first, and then clear data. As you can see here, you're going to get a warning when you try to clear the data for an application. Now the types of files that this will delete will depend on which application it is. If you have a game that required hundreds of megabytes of additional download after you installed it and then you launched it for the first time, this will delete that data. And then once you go to relaunch it again, you'll have to download all that all of that data again. This could actually resolve the issue though, so it's definitely worth trying. Now if you have, say, an art application and you have some some pictures that you've drawn, those usually get saved to the to the internal storage partition. That type of data will not be deleted whenever you tap this clear data option. And I also wanted to show you in this application list, like I was telling you about Bluetooth, by default, you're only going to get your basic applications. But if you come up here and tap more, you're going to see an option that says show system apps. Now this is going to start displaying all of these system apps for your device. Now particularly for Bluetooth, that's controlled by an application called Bluetooth Share. And if you're having issues with Bluetooth, you would just go in here, again, tap on storage, then you clear the cache and clear the data.